Hello, Gemini. Welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is your weekly reading from the 25th to the 31st of March, 2019, for the sign of Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I hope you are Gemini. So I'm just pulled an Angel and Ancestors card, and it is Be the Light. Let me find that for you. Here we are. Take the high road and choose the light. Remove yourself from lower energy experiences. Beautiful. So let's see what the cards have to say. This is very much about finding that journey, the path. <laughs> How funny is that? The light. Love and light, the sun. Beautiful Gemini. All things revealed with the sun. What do we have for Gemini, please? 25th to the 31st of March. Wow. Your energy. Swords which is the Ace of Swords. What else do we have for Gemini, please? Yeah, I did say Love and Light. <laughs> the Knight of Cups. What else do we have for Gemini, please? Again, your energy, King of Swords. Air signs, yeah. What else do we have for Gemini, please? Seven of Cups. Two cards popped out there. So I have the Queen of Pentacles and the Fool. Beautiful. Wonderful. Let me just line this up. Okay, Gemini. So this is very much talking about seeing the light, being the light in your own life, being your own guide, following your instinct, following your intuition. It asks you to take the higher road, not necessarily the road that's easier for you. You know deep down what you need to do. You know deep down how to move forward. So it's a beautiful energy. And, yeah, if that wasn't enough, you have the light. The sun card. This is divine energy shining on you. Beautiful, yeah, it's a beautiful card. Um, this is kind of like moving towards a time of abundance. Can be a reason to ha be happy, celebrate. Finding a more optimistic point in the journey. So things take a turn for the better in your journey, Gemini. The kind of like, uh, this can also be finding your natural power. It's an awakening. And the awakening is realising what you're capable of. can also be linked to the soul energy, an awakening from within. An awakening to what your true power is. True power in life. You have the power to, to shine in your own light. And it's asking you to do that, shine in your own light now. It's not time to stand in the shadows. It's not time to let other people take the glory. It's time to find your true path. It's time to allow things to take a better turn for the better, but you have to be a participant in that. These are decisions that you have to make in order to shine your very best light. There's a new beginning on the horizon for you. Now, this can be very much about um, truth and justice coming out as well. Um, this is overcoming obstacles. I think certainly to come up to this point where the sun is, you've overcome obstacles. You've overcome challenges. 
but you're coming through the other side this is pr a promise of a new beginning you have two new beginning cards in this reading the fool and this card and it says whatever of the challenges that you might meet certainly with a full energy you're more than capable of dealing with them now this could also be a new beginning yeah a new certainly a new beginning but this can also be um linked to communication so there could be some kind of communication coming through which enables you to start that new beginning in life now that could be in love it could be in business it could be a new job a new business venture um connecting with people who can propel your career on it's divine the guide did you see the hand of, of god divine the universe whatever it means to you this is saying that whatever challenges that you might meet in this new beginning you know they won't be insurmountable for you so it's beautiful knight of cups it can be an offer of love i, I kind of feel for you it's self-love I think this has been somebody in search of having a fuller heart. I'll also say here that, you know, this, the synergy I'm feeling is the swords can also be linked to mental, the mind. Um, I think you're clearer in where you're going, certainly with the Ace of Swords. And the Knight of Cups is very much saying do things from the heart as well. Have that balance between the heart and the head in order to move forward. Be open to receive love, be open to receive communication. Have that clear mind, have that clarity, that truth on your side, knowing where you're going. If you've been wronged, this is wrongs being righted, most definitely. Um, so move forward in happiness, I think. <clears throat> it asks you to move forward in happiness, it's certainly with the sun um, linking to this because it's beautiful energy. And yeah, you've got a king here, sign of success. Again, this could be somebody in your life. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. But it also talks again, um, the king stands for fairness, truth, justice. It's a kind of earthly justice as well. He mimics the stance of justice too. And you see the butterfly on his throne it talks about how you can transform your opportunities by having that clear head, by not allowing emotions to muddle it, by not allowing other people to throw you off centre, stop you from moving forward, other people sticking the roar in. This is a time for you seeing your true path, understanding where you're going and moving towards success. This is a sign of authority as well. This could be somebody in authority to you, um, a boss, uh, a leader, somebody who you look up to, could be a father figure. And they're fair, they're fair. Um, they can be quite stern, but you know this kind of energy is on your side. It's right below the sun card. So it says you can actually change your circumstances, change your opportunities by applying yourself, clarifying, being clear in your mind now and not allowing confusion to get the better of you. This is a card of confusion. There are great choices around you. Could be in love, could be in business. To choose wisely, you need to have a clear head. You need to have that logic not allow emotions to run wild. This can be emotions running wild. King of Swords asks you to judge things as they are for the facts of the situation. And if you do that, you'll choose wisely and come out of the confusion. Beautiful. Queen of Pentacles, very kind, nurturing energy. This could be a mother. This could be somebody in your life who is nurturing towards you, helping you forward. As your energy, again, another sign of success, creating your own abundance in your earthly world, your, pe your little piece of paradise. And she does that by being practical, by being focused, um, a kind heart. It asks you also when dealing with other people, maybe, just to have tact, diplomacy, 
on your side will prove well for you. But she's also a symbol of real success, financial success, material success. And if you follow her energy, you know, it is kind of like connecting to that. The beginning of the path that you're on is connecting to material success. Um, so, yeah, it's beautiful. It starts with this wonderful sun energy. Things are beginning to be more optimistic. The only thing is don't allow emotions to confuse a situation or other people. Um, and the full, beautiful energy. You see? I just think this is, I mean, be the light in your own life. He's full of light. He's radiating. Because he's not afraid anymore. He will take that leap of faith. He will go for what he wants in life because he's not afraid. He lets go of the baggage of the past. It doesn't hold him back and moves forward with new conviction. A beautiful new beginning, major new beginning, major new start. Clearing away past emotions, past doubts and, and pushing forward with purpose now. I kind of think also this can be, I've mentioned this before, but go in your own way and um, doing things in your own way to shine the way that you want to shine um, and not having anything else imposed by you. So almost kind of like carving out your path to shine in your own right. That's what I'm feeling. Um, but yeah, it's a beautiful reading, Gemini, beautiful. Um, certainly on the, on the air, uh, on moving forward in terms of success, getting new beginnings. I mean, this is a sign of success. Uh, the sun is very much a sign of success. Um, King of Swords, Queen, is signs of success. If you're looking for new jobs, um, or new love for that matter, there's opportunities to start connecting to that. And it asks you to be open. You see how he's open to receive. This is a time of being open to receive and allowing good things to come into your life making good communication, good connections with people who can help you forward. I hope you enjoyed the reading, Gemini. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a great week and I'll see you next time. Thank you.